Okay, I just got through washing my hair. And basically, this is my routine that I do every week with my hair. This is my curl pattern. I don't know if you guys can see it. But give me a second and I'll show you. So this is my curl pattern. This is what it looks like. My hair is freshly washed. Um, I had box braids in that I did myself. Well, box twist, whatever you want to call them. And basically they look like hinky twists. And this is my curl pattern. This is what it looks like. But, um, yes. So, basically, what I'm going to do, if I can get this to stay, is, um, what I wash my hair with is the Kitty Curly Come Clean, and it's the shampoo. And I don't have any conditioner in my head. So what I'm about to use is my, I guess, Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner. And I use a lot of this. I abuse it so much because I love it. <laughs> and it's pretty cheap. It's like $5, but it's a good amount. But, um, yeah. I'm just so in love with my curl pattern, y'all. It's so pretty. But, um, what I'm about to use is, if I can find it, is my, um, Kinky Curly Not Today. And it's a detangler, which you can see I'm almost out. But it's a natural product. And yeah. And this is my hair routine, what I do. And I'm going to use my uh, oil and moisturizer. You can find this at Dollar General, Walmart. It's like $7.99, so $8. And uh, it has some good stuff in it. It has some uh, castor oil, which makes your hair thick. So if you have really thin hair, which I did, I had started using this for like two months. And my hair came really, really thick. So it does help and it does work. And it's, it has a moisturizer. And it has aloe, if I'm saying this right. And again. And this is like the maximum strength. Oh, yeah. So, my styling gel that I'm going to use, which kind of don't really use it like that, is my Kinky Curly Clustered it's Styling Gel. And I try to stick with Kinky Curly because I don't know that much about natural products. And the oil, some more oil that I'm about to use, which is very clumpy. And it's a uh, coconut oil. And it's by Shea Moisters. And, uh, yeah. And it's clumpy. If you don't like it clumpy, it heats up in your hand. But I don't try to get too greedy with it, considering my moisturizer already has oil in it. And my hair is very dry, so I need to do a deep condition and an oil treatment. And this is my hair. Like, I don't know if I actually showed you guys my hair. But, yeah. Hair is very white. <laughs> and this is like my little hair routine that I like to do that works for me.
If it doesn't work for you, you know, there's other routines. But, um, yeah. And this is my little afro, y'all. Teeny weeny afro. This is how long my hair is. Not very long. <laughs> so it's hanging about right there. And I'm just going to come through and I like to find it sometimes. But yeah, this is my hair. My hair is white because I've used that conditioner way too much. But yeah, I'm gonna zoom in on my curl pattern now on um, what it looks like with my little stuff in my head. This is my curl pattern. And I'm gonna give it some life, <laughs> as I like to call it. And I'm going to use a uh, oil miracle, no olive miracle, and it's for anti breakage. If you're like me, your hair sheds a lot. And, yeah. and this is Keisha's. <laughs> if y'all don't know who Keisha is, that is my wife to be. And this is like her hair products. Well, that one is. So well, yeah, it just comes up so nicely. And one thing you should do is always oil and moisturize your hair. Always. Because without oil and moisturize, I guarantee you it's going to break off. I know. I experienced that the hard way. Oh um, yeah. Curl pattern. <laughs> I don't know where my curl pattern is. Don't know if it's a 4C or a 4A. Like, I really just don't know. So, sorry, you guys. But, um, yeah. This is my hair routine for my teeny weeny afro. I don't know if you guys can see my curl pattern. I love my curl pattern. I think it's very pretty. <laughs> I don't have a pick. I did. I'll be so happy. <laughs> I think all my headbands are upstairs. So I'm going to pause this and run and go get it. And I'm back. This are my little headbands that I like. You can get it from Dollar Tree. They come like three, four dollar, four, four dollar. I like them. They work for me. Even this one and this one. But yeah, my normal hair routine uh through the week is I co-wash. I'm um, using shampoo and conditioner, and I do that probably twice out the week. And um, I'm not really big on shampoo, but I do like my hair coming clean because all the oil and moisturizing. And basically what I'm doing to my hair right now is going to make a big old little puff. And that's me coming all of it up. My hair in the back is shorter than my hair up top. My hair up top is like way longer. 
Because when I went natural, I just chopped that shit off and did not care. <laughs> but yeah, this is my uh, hair routine. I oil and moisturize four times out the week. Because my hair, it doesn't stay, I guess you could say, oiled and moisturized. Well, then, um... Yeah. And now I don't usually wear my hair out. I normally just pull it back into a bun. But, um, yeah. What I do is I take my little hair tie. And throw it like like this. Doesn't really matter if it's pretty or not. Take my headband. I don't know if I might move. Oh, that was too big. This one was a little too girly and feminine. But hey, whatever works works. And this is my new natural hair. And this is how I wear it. And then I comb it out. And this is my little afro. It's not much, but hey. Don't know if you can really see my curl pattern now. <laughs> but yeah, and this is it. This is my little teeny mini afro.